Welcome back, I am Dr. Ruckus, bringing you a new deck every single day, and today we are playing Gruel Werewolves in Kamigawa Ranked Standard. Did extremely well today, winning 71% of games over the course of an hour, winning 100% of games against Mono White, Aggro, and going 50-50 with Selesnya Enchantments. Let's talk about some of the new cards from Kamigawa, or specifically just one card, Kumano Faces Kakazan. When I started this deck today, I was not 100% sure if it would belong in the deck or not. It's not a wolf. It doesn't help you flip with Tovalar. Um, so that's tough. But it's far and away the best red one drop we have. And by the end of my gameplay today, I was definitely convinced this card has a four of slot in the deck. Uh, first off, it deals one damage immediately to each opponent and each Planeswalker they control. That's actually relevant. And we'll talk about this more later. But Planeswalkers are such a big part of this format now with Lolth and the Wandering Emperor that the ability to deal one damage to one of those and pick it off actually is a big upside to this. Turn two, or phase two, you when you cast your next creature spell, creature enters with a plus one, plus one counter on it. That's big. That means you can go turn one Kumano. Turn two, drop your Naturalist, comes in as a 3-3. Three, three. That matters. Uh, that means you can get through stuff with first strike, like your opponent's um, Thalia. That matters too. And then finally, turn three, your one mana investment gets you a 2-2 two, two haste. If a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you controlled would die, exile it instead. And that matters too, because with all the Orzhov token decks running around, this means when they block with Eye Twitch, instead of Eye Twitch going to the graveyard and them getting to learn, it gets exiled instead, so they don't get that trigger. So every single part of this card is amazing, and even though it's not a wolf, it slots into your curve perfectly. We needed one, we needed more one drops in this deck anyway, so play four of, you won't be disappointed. The other card I want to talk about is Blizzard Brawl. Um, I would say in the last format before Kamigawa, I advocated Blizzard Brawl over Play With Fire 100%. Uh, even though the mana base is not 100% snow. And that's because what was running around before was uh, a lot of clerics. And the fact is, play with fire can never kill a righteous Val Valkyrie. Anything, you know, the 2-4 toughness, you just can't kill it. So you had to play Blizzard Bowl. But now in this format, it's different. Like, play with fire kills so many of the small things. Uh, Selesny Enchantments is one of the biggest decks out there. And again, if they grow out of control, you can't catch it. But their initial stuff is all pretty weak. Like the Jukai Naturalist can be picked off with play with fire. And then more importantly, again, Planeswalkers are such a big part of this format, and Blizzard Brawl can't hit Planeswalkers. It only hits creatures, right? If they play Loth or the Wandering Emperor, minus, and they only have one or two loyalty left, you can pick that stuff off with Play With Fire. So I think, take out Blizzard Brawl. I know a lot of you are like, I didn't do that anyway. You couldn't hit your snowman. I think before it was the right call, but I no longer think it is the right call, and I think you want to be playing four copies of Play With Fire in this deck. Lastly, I'll just note that Halana and Elena is a fantastic card. I've never... Basically never been impressed with Arlen. I think if you wanted to cut one copy of Arlen and go up like one Halana and Elena and just put that fourth slot as the Elvenwald oddity for some hasty trample threat, I think that's totally fine. If you want to put Arlen in, she's okay sometimes, but she's never blown me away. So that's the deck. It's very strong. Definitely play Kumano. Definitely play play with fire and play whatever four drops you want. You'll do it just fine. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. Interesting. We can keep this. I think we'll get Kumano down first, get a bigger pack leader after that. So we can play you on red to start. Kumano online. All right, we'll try this card out in wolves. See how it goes. Up against Eridu 60. Black, okay. Twitch. All right. Pack leader online. Feeling good about our sequencing here. Can now attack with the eye twitch at least. We'll have a 2-2 next turn as well. Plus Tovalar. Okay, looks like a Deadly Dispute turn for the opponent. Um, Yeah, we can play out this Snowland. Work our way towards a Blizzard Brawl if needed. I don't think we're going to need that second red, really. Okay, they chump block there. No Deadly Dispute. Kumano is sweet. If a creature dealt damage this turn by a source you controlled would die, exile it instead. When I Twitch dies, learn. Didn't die, though. Oh, they scoop off of that. Kumano too strong. Okay. That was fun. I feel good about that. Okay, pretty good. Can't do Pack Leader on two, but um, we can't go Naturalist, which is very strong anyway. Helps fix our mana as well. One damage off the map against Rafa89. More black, okay. Naturalist coming in as a 3-3. Three, three. Feels good. Now this coming turn... B 
beetle. Uh, man, we can actually just get rid of the pack leader. What do we want to do this coming turn? We'll have four mana available. We could actually deploy both the pack leader and the naturalist. We could drop off the storm seeker, as weird as that sounds. Right, we'll have double green. No, we, we'll need triple green, though. So we can't actually accomplish that. I think we'll just drop off this double green guy for now. Yeah, it's tough to say. Well, punished. <laughs> That's okay. So... What was that? That's only two. All right, we'll drop this guy. Get in with everyone. It's a lot of damage. We can make green, but not really necessary. Opponent takes it all down to 11. End here. Nothing to do with our lone green mana source. Three lands. Nighthawk Scavenger. Death Touch is annoying. Okay. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, we definitely want to attack with you. Get that draw on. Get in with you and you, I think. Do we force them? I mean, they really want to block the pack leader. So I think we actually throw these in as well. I think that's okay. Make green. Should be able to play out our entire hand now. Okay, they take the chump. Interesting. I guess we're going to draw a card every turn with the pack leader. And they go down to six. I'm happy with that outcome. Okay. Uh, I'll drop this. Want to make sure we spend our green mana. Drop another Kumano. Slots into our curve very nicely. Quite happy with that card so far in this deck. Even though it's not a wolf. Um, it's just such a great card that I think it's probably worth playing. It's obviously tricky with the mana base, right? We need to figure out red and green and make space for the pack leader and Kumano on one, which is tough, but I think it's I think it's playing out pretty well so far. Yeah, that's that's gotta be game right there. Give this guy haste. Brutal. Soul Shatter. Okay. Alright, so we won't get haste off that now. But I think that's still <laughs> plenty. I wonder if we can even pump the pack leader. Sure, we'll make a green and a red. We can actually pump the pack leader right now. Not that it matters, but just a flex. Good lord. That was uh, very powerful. Nice. Okay. Not amazing, but not terrible. We can go ahead and keep this. Is it? It is. Well, we're going to want that extra snowman eventually, but we'll start here. Just make sure um, we have our green source if we need it for the naturalist on two. All right. Well, this turn the naturalist is coming down. Could have up to three green this coming turn. So it could go pack leader plus the other pack leader, the baby pack leader. We flip here. No reason to do this before combat. Alright. Attack. They give us the trigger. We'll take our green mana. Down to 17. Um, sure. We'll attempt our first one here. See if they counter it. Nope. Land successfully. Alright. Drop the other one as well. Do they do nothing? They do nothing that entire turn cycle. Flip back to daytime. Field of Ruin, not super relevant against us. Smashing success! Wow, look at that. Okay, that's that's fun. Um, we'll attack first, see what we draw, I suppose. Yep, let's just get in there. Don't even need to play a land. See what we draw first. Almost certainly want more green. Well, we only have two green total. We can either play the Naturalist and a Pack Leader, or the other Pack Leader. Um, I think I think drawing cards is going to be better. So we'll spend both our green that way. Let's see if they have some kind of sweeper. Nope, they do not. Alright, another win in the books. Kind of a clunky start there, but I think they just didn't have the tools to deal with this early. Definitely a keep. The only question is do we prioritize the Naturalist or the Pack Leader? And we'll go with the Pack Leader in this case because we can get that Storm Seeker turn. Plus, we uh, get to prioritize green here. All right, so this is a beautiful curve. So we'll go Pack Leader on two, 
Stormseeker on three, draw the card, which is the dream sequence. I mean, we could also go Tovalor on three. We'll see which one is going to give us more cards. All right, three one's a pretty good blocker against us. Path is the same here. Drop Pack Leader, no attacks. Shigeki, Jukai, Visionary. So they probably have what? Like Vanishing Verse? Um, so if we play Tovalar, attack with both, they kill the Pack Leader, maybe kill the other Pack Leader too. That's not amazing. I think Stormseeker is going to be a little bit better here. Let's give it a go. We can play Tovalar next turn. All right, they definitely have instant speed. I think they're going to have Vanishing Verse. Do they let us get our trigger off? They do. Do they let us go to combat is the next question. They do. All right, so we'll just attack like that. Draw our free card. That's all we really wanted out of this turn. Another Storm Seeker, great. So now what? Oh, they block and return it. Okay. Fine. Totally consuming blob. Oh, Lord. What is that? Uh, And they have faithful, double faithful absence. Both hit the bin, though. That's pretty big for us. Card types among cards in your graveyard. Ooze. Okay, fine. All right. I think we're going to have a beautiful next turn. Could go Tovalar. Just draw a crap ton of cards. I think that's probably what we'll do. Let's see if we can get a removal spell to go with it. That'd be nice. So we play Tobalar. We'll draw up to three cards. If we play the Stormseeker, just the one. Yeah, I think we'll play Tobalar this turn. Okay, that's fine. That guy wasn't really getting through anyway. And now they're all tapped out. Ranger class as well. I do think we're going to start with Tobalar here. Um, yeah, I guess we'll... Uh, we don't know what we're going to want yet, so let's just go like this first. Alright, two combat. Haste here. Attack all. Drawing at least two cards this turn. See if they block or not. I didn't play my land, because we don't know if we're going to get a one-drop and we're going to need red or green. They scoop there. So if we drew Kamana, we'd play the red source. If we drew the baby pack leader, play the green source. So uh, make sure to wait to play your land until after combat. Okay, pretty solid curve here. Kumana on one, Naturalist on two. Up against Akihisa. Red, Kumano. One damage to the face, pulling down to 19. All right, little mono white aggro. Drop that 3-3. Three, three. When you cast your next creature spells. We wouldn't have gotten it on the token since this is not a creature we are casting. We are casting an enchantment. Gonna have a strong next turn. Reckless Storm Seeker, attack all. All right, they will get the trade off here. Plan still the same. Yep. Drop you. Haste here. Attack all. Green. Let's see where they trade. Yep, they trade off against the Storm Seeker. They leave the Initiate back. Down to 14. Drop the Ascendant Pack Leader. Alright, we're a little bit out of gas here. Let's see what they can play now. Alright, nice. We can still attack through everything. Feels good. Just need one more land. So I guess we'll play the Ranger class and then level it up. Or we can get a Halana and Elena down after combat. That's probably better. More green is fine. Alright, there goes our mana. We'll get out Halana and Elena while we can. End of combat. Two main. Alright. Nice. At the beginning of combat, on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control where X is Halana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to play it on the Kumano anyway. Great, we can get in with both now this turn. It's so brutal for Mono White to deal with. They need a Brutal Cathar. They need land and Brutal Cathar. 
Shop Ranger class. Yeah, th this card is very powerful. I think this has got to be in the best version of, of Gruul. Luminarch Aspirant still stuck on land. No Brutal Cathar yet. They do get a 3-3, which can block the Lana and Elena. Okay. Another land here. Probably spend our green leveling up. I wonder if they would double block. Should we even... Hmm. If we attack with Alana and Elena, it becomes a 3-4. They could throw both under the bus to kill it. I think I'm okay with that. I'm not sure if they would even do that. says first strike too so actually we're okay regardless of how they block oh, they want to double block there okay that's fine sure that's all good when it goes down to two and our next creature can come in with haste if they don't pick off Halana and elena right now and they don't yeah if one is stuck on land that kind of sucks but so we have lethal now yep they know it too all right well sometimes you get stuck on land it happens. Great curve. One, two, three, right into Tovalar. Flip to night side. And four drop on the way, too. <laughs> Literally a, a perfect curve here. Up against Valawak. Vala WC. Blue white control potentially. Naturalist down. Get in there for two. Point it down to 18. Alright, so we're thinking about Doomscar now. But man, if Tovalar lands and we get to draw cards, like, whew, and flip the next turn. Esper control, most likely. Could be Angels, but I don't think so. Flip to Nighttime. I think we are going to play um, Tovalar right now. See if it sticks. All right, we have stick right now. I don't know if they have room for Jirari in this deck. I might just have like fateful absence here. If they don't answer Tovalor now and we just stay on night side, whew, that's tough. But thinking though, they have something. I think it's a fateful absence. What else would they have here? Or a vanishing verse? But that doesn't hit either of our multicolored cards. March of the Wretched Sorrow. X equals five. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Get in there. We make a red, get our Kumano down. Feels good. Vanishing Verse and Kaito. Interesting. That's a lot of card disadvantage, I guess. Very interesting. We flip back to Dayside, unfortunately. Now I have double white available. Still far away from Doomscar. Okay. We're getting the Stormseeker down right now, I suppose. Let's see if they have a hard counter here. Nothing immediately comes in on the night side as a 5-6. Give itself haste. Good lord. All right, they pick it off again. Vanishing Verse. They only have three cards left in hand. We're putting on a ton of pressure each turn. We'll make green even though we can't use it. Put it down to 10. Three cards remaining. Nothing to do with our mana. We'll get a 2-2 next turn off of Kumano. This card is so good. I think I'm happy with it in the deck. Even though it's not a wolf, like it's just so good. Fills out the curve. Blizzard Brawl. Not relevant right now. We don't have the next land for the Oddity. No reason to play this before combats. Green is fine. Wandering Emperor. Alright, that's an issue. We do have Blizzard Brawl. That doesn't fight Planeswalkers. Okay. Main. Yeah, we're just going to get play the Oddity, because we don't have that next land guaranteed. Pack leader up to a 3-2. We do have Trample Damage now. We are going to be able to Blizzard Brawl one of their creatures. That means we won't play the Pack Leader. We create a 2-2. Do nothing else. So... I mean, Tovalar only draws if Pack Leader gets in. They'll probably block the Pack Leader. They have all their mana open. They could have a second Wandering Emperor. I think that's what that implies, actually. Alright, so given that they have another Wandering Emperor, they would flash it in and exile the Oddity. Block here. Take two. 
I don't think Tovalar is going to get in for damage. I don't think Blizzard Brawl matters. I think we're just going to play the pack leader after combat and maybe play Tovalar next turn. Yeah, I think we're going to have the next Wandering Emperor here. Yeah, I don't think there's really a better way to do it. So here we go. Into the next Wandering Emperor. Let's see it. That's what I'm assuming they have, but they might not. Oh, they have a Ganjo. Okay. All right, well, they're down to one card then. And they should block the pack leader. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, again, I think we're going to play the pack leader here and then Tovalar to follow. Maybe we could have done that in the reverse order. Maybe it would have been a little better to play Tovalar. Because Tovalar triggers itself, right? Yeah. That was a small mistake there, I think. Opponent down to one card, though. Arlen. All right. Well, here comes Tovalar. See if they kill off the pack leader. It's so interesting, like, March of the Wretched Sorrow was their answer to Tovalar. Oh, yeah. Okay, they stick around one more turn. But it also, you know, got rid of two cards out of their hand, so that was a big price to pay. Land. Okay. We can't pump. We don't have enough mana, so we're just doing this. Scoop. Yeah, all right. Very interesting game there. Um... Cool. I haven't tried out the Esper version of this deck in Kamigawa Standard yet, but I will at some point. Great curve here. I think we're going uh, Kumano on one, Ranger Class on two. Delaying the pack leader by a little bit. Okay. Probably Kumano on one, Naturalist on two now. Okay. A little Selesnia action, perhaps. And they are on the play. Thalia. Okay, that's interesting. Definitely play on you on green. Guess we're playing the Naturalist. Price out of Ranger class. Comes in as a 3-3, which is nice, though. Could be Selesnia humans. Hmm. Three three first striker is a pain in the ass. Definitely play on you on green. How do we beat a 3-3 first striker? We don't really. We could play Ranger Class and level it up next turn. We'll also have the Oddity soon, but it's going to be a 4-4 next turn. That's that's a pretty big issue for us. I mean, we hope they attack with it, I guess. They're going to have to attack eventually. I think we'll get Ranger Class down. It's pretty tough. I guess if we flip to Night Side, that's another good way to... To get things rolling. Alright, let's get the Ranger Class down this turn. No attacks into the first striker. That's tough. We are going to need a Blizzard Brawl soon. They're stuck on land, though, which is good. Alright, so there is the Blizzard Brawl. And I think we actually do just straight up sacrifice one of our creatures to make this happen. More green is probably what we're going to need here. So, we could play the pack leader and use uh, Blizzard Brawl on the pack leader to kill Thalia and then get him for everyone this turn. Or we could throw away someone's... We could throw away the Naturalist also, but I think I'd rather just uh, keep some tempo. So, here we go. Alright, now we get him with everyone, I guess. Sure, my green mana. Well, that was important to get rid of the first strike when we had the chance. We'll see if they have a backup Thal Thalia. That's going to hurt, but I think that was the right play there. The only other acceptable play, I think, is to Blizzard Brawl with a Naturalist. They scoop on that. All right, well, that feels validating. It's hard to say, you know, is it more valuable to get in that damage that turn by using it on our Summoning Sickness creature or to use it on the Naturalist, which is arguably maybe a less useful creature at the time, but definitely a good outcome regardless. All right, perfect curve here. Grundomo. I like that name. I feel it. A little grundy, a little grungy. Okay. Start here. Really, truly a perfect curve. They eye the snow mana. Yeah, it's potentially mono green. Look at this artwork. Okay, so I like artwork, but it also means I have to like hover over stuff to remember what it is. 
Thalia again. Naya humans, perhaps. Well, we're not going to have any attacks into that right now. Pack leader is bigger for now. No attacks into the first striker. Expensive Kumano, non-creature spell. Naya humans. Usher. Luminarch Aspirant again. Good lord. So I think flipping to nighttime is actually our best solution here. So go ahead and get you down. Play Tovalar, no attacks. No attacks here. So this will become a 4 4, but we'll flip to nighttime, play the Storm Seeker, and I think that should be big enough to at least get some damage through this turn. God. <laughs> I don't know if we can beat that. Hamlet of Vanguard. Uh, we don't need to transform you. That's fine. I don't even know if... You, I should click that. I don't know what happens if you do that. Well. Plus X plus O and trample. We really have no ability to deal with this right now. Sad. Quite sad. I mean, we need a Blizzard Brawl soon. I don't know if it's... I don't think it's really worth throwing away the pack leader, though. We can make you come in even bigger? What does that mean? They'll have a 5 power something next turn. This could come in as a 4-5. It's pretty big. Is that worth throwing being less man efficient this turn. I think it actually is. I think it actually is. One damage, do nothing. So this will let our Reckless Storm Seeker come in a little bit bigger, which could matter if we need, oh my God. <laughs> oh no, oh God. They're putting it there. Oh, this game is over, baby. I don't think we can. I don't think we win this. Like we need all our creatures to get massive and uh, draw into Blizzard Brawl as well. Eight damage. Um, I think we can take this chump block. That's fine. More land. So even if we draw into Blizzard Brawl, that's the question, right? Six five. If we draw into Blizzard Brawl, I don't think it does anything. I think this game's over. All right, good game. You got me. Here we go. Yeah, that's out. We're out, we're out of that one. I don't think we beat the Hamlet Vanguard. No, not just not enough in the deck to do that. Okay, good curve. Start on green. Up against Yorda. Yorda. Red. Naturalist. Do nothing. Mono white. Okay. I'm feeling that. Do we get out all the naturalists? Or just get the Stormseeker going? I mean, Stormseeker is so much damage. But if we play the naturalists, we can get out both naturalists. I guess that flips. Okay. Let's play the Storm Seeker. It could be control. Who knows? Yeah, they have stick here. Okay. Fable Absence. Alright, could be could be like blue white control or something. That's fine. Sure, green. Alright, put it down to 17. It's not mono white aggro. Could be mono white control. No, it is mono white aggro. Alright, whatever. Definitely green. Well. Can't play Stormseeker, attack, play the pack leader after combat. It's pretty good. Uh, let's manually tap here. Yeah. Go like this. Get in there. Green. Two blockers. Yep, take their free block there to damage. Take six down to 11. 
Pack leader. Spellbinder. That's fine. Can tangle a little bit with what we have, but not too bad. More mana. Okay. We can take a draw here. See if we draw into Blizzard Brawl. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Let's see what we draw. No Blizzard Brawl. Okay. Um, how much do we want to sacrifice to the Cathar is the question. We could attack all. See what we draw. Potentially pump the pack leader as well. Yeah, I think we can throw away the naturalist for a little more damage. So they really want to trade off with the pack leader. I think they don't want to block the Storm Seeker, really. So let's put it on the Storm Seeker. Okay, that's not amazing, but we'll take what we can get. Green. Yep. Yep. Um, that's fine. We don't need to pump our mana into that right now. So, do we play the more expensive Naturalist? I don't think that's necessary. I think we'll just keep going as wide as we can here. Try to sneak through damage where we can. Let's say they might drop multiple creatures. Skyclave app. Okay. All right. Our uh, assault has been halted for sure. That's pretty good, though. Again, do we attack, though? I don't think so. I think we flipped to nighttime. So, if we attack here, they basically have to chump block one of these. I don't think it's worth it. I think next turn we'll play the other Naturalist flipped, and then everyone gets huge. Alright, that's big. That's a slow turn for them. They get a 1-1, one, one, but this turn's going to be huge for us. And we get Halana and Elena. What's, what's actually better? So, we play the Naturalist. Everyone gets through. Which is big. I think that's probably better. Halana and Elena make it so one of these can get through, but not everyone. So... Let's do it like this. Yep. Send the squad. Green is fine. See how they want to handle that. No good blocks now. Trade there. Chump there. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and give... We don't have anything else to do with our mana. So we'll pay X equals 1. And give you Trample. Boom. Got him. Very nice. Up we go. Okay. Decent. Not perfect, but decent. Up against Yama P3. Is it? Start on green. I yep, think we'll get the Naturalist down. Some stick here. What do they have for us? What, they got something? Jawari Disruption? Okay. That's fine. Not a deal, but not the end of the world. Celestis. Okay, slow. Let's try to take advantage of that. Get a Storm Seeker down this turn. Haste. Attack all. All right, take three. Goes through successfully. It's coming turn, probably pack leader and another storm seeker. Tap land, four mana available. Fortell. Interesting. Maybe a demon bolt. I'm not really sure. With do flip to nighttime though, which is huge. That's actually massive. Um, I think we can play even more green. So we could draw cards or just get in a crap ton of damage. Probably just want to get in a crap ton of damage. We'll go um, Stormseeker first, play around the second copy of Jawari. 
And then they can draw this if they want to. So much damage right now. Alright, you can haste you. You can haste you. Wow. What power. Alright, what do you got? Two mana open. Take it all. Opponent goes down to six. The foretold card is Behold the Multiverse. Okay. I guess they're digging for a sweeper here. Either uh, burn down the house or the whatever the giant one is. Flip back to daytime, unfortunately. A ton of damage, though. We can play out both the pack leader and the ranger class this coming turn. Potentially give them both haste. We'll see what they do here. They're thinking. They discard expressive iteration. Makes sense. A little too slow at this point. Unless they can stabilize right now. Tap land. Hall of the Storm Giants. Five mana available by the opponent. Burn down the house. Alright, did you hit their sweeper? Definitely slows down. Hmm. If we do this next turn. See, if we do it this turn, we give the next thing haste, which is nice. But they can definitely kill it. I think we'll do it next turn. Let's just get down two threats. Try to keep the pressure on. Opponent now at six mana. Seven. If they do nothing and hold up Holebreaker Horror, that's going to be spooky. Goldspan Dragon. Okay. Do they attack? They do attack. Leaves them with four mana. Interesting. Kind of regretting not playing Halana and Elena last turn. I think that would have been... Let's see. That would have been seven damage. Two from Halana, and then... Okay, Dragon's Fire. Sure. Alright, well, we're doing what we can here. They're definitely coming down. Alright, get in there for four. Opponent down to three now. So long as Halana and Elena sticks around, we can give the next thing haste as well. So, we have lethal in a lot of different ways currently. Including a Blizzard Brawl available that does grant indestructible given our three snow mana. Three cards in the opponent's hand. We can play the slow game if we have to. Wow. No blocks. Take four. Well, that implies something big is about to come. Another sweeper. Hullbreaker Horror. Maybe they just want to cycle with this Lestis. They're looking for outs. Burn of the house. Okay. Oh, interesting. Just a bunch of blockers. Haste. Okay. Green is good. So does Blizzard Brawl get us out of this? That means three things get through. It's very close. So let's try it. We'll see if it fails, but... Let's see if they have removal here. That's going to suck, but if they don't have it, then we have lethal. Because they have two blockers, and this will power up the Halana to have three power, which is enough to kill them. All right, that part goes through. Where does one damage point? Two face. Okay. Now we'll play out the pack leader. And we'll level up ranger class. Put you here. Now they have to kill one of these right now. They have three mana up. Four mana up. Can they do it? Where do we put the counter? I mean, they really want to kill Halana. They really want to kill the 6-5. So I guess we could put it on the token. I don't want him to kill this somehow. I don't want to give him a free out to kill that. So we'll put it here. Right, otherwise they could go like chump, chump, two damage here. Good game. We got him. Fading hope you. Okay. So, I mean, we don't have trample. Did they win? Is that what the good game is? That brings us down by 2 to 9. What does that mean? Another gold span plus what? Alright, let's see the good game. Show it to me. Oh, Hall of the Storm Giants. Wow, they got us. Yeah, okay. Oh, damn. 
I think we had to try there anyway. I don't think we, sh we should have held back. I think we should have made them have the answer. And they did, but that's fine. Okay, not bad. Naturalist or pack leader? Probably pack leader, because we have Stormseeker to go with it. Regardless, get our um, tap land down first. And yeah, I think we'll go pack leader right into Stormseeker for that classic combo. What are we up against here? Little uh, Orzhov tokens. Immediate Vanishing Verse. I guess that was a reason to play the Naturalist, but the upside is so high if you hit turn two, pack leader, turn three, Stormseeker, that I'm okay with that wedding announcement. All right, definitely tokens. Green is good. Get that pressure on. We'll be close to flipping, actually. We'll get the Naturalist down. Do we want to play Arlen? What is the incentive to play Arlen? Can play stuff with Flash on their turn. Create some tokens. March. Okay. So we really want to risk <coughs> Arlen going down. Make two tokens. If they have any removal spell, then Arlen dies and all we got were two wolf tokens. I don't know if that seems worth it. I feel like that's not worth it right now. Hit all our snow mana. I think instead we'll just go naturalist and ranger class. Next turn we'll probably play Arlen, but I just... If they have any removal spell to kill one of our tokens, then Arlen is undefended, which I don't like. Fifth land by the opponent. Lol. All right. Well, that's tough. That makes Arlen even worse. We don't really have any options, though. <sighs> They'll definitely just attack right into us and pick off Arlen. Honestly, a better strategy might be to try to level up Ranger class. If we attack with the Naturalist, we can level up Ranger class twice and just pray and hope that gets us out of this game. I don't think playing Arlen is the way out of this game. I really don't think so. I think that's our way out. Let's level up here. Force him to block here. Green is fine. Okay. Yep, it's gonna be tough. There we go. That's our way out of this game. Land on top. It's gonna be very tough. I think slim chances, but uh, if we hit an amazing stream of creatures off the top, we could definitely get back into this game. Then we gotta take out Lolth. Gotta get past Meat Hook Massacre. Like we have a we have a big uphill to climb. We can try though. I do think it was a better play than hoping Arlen would survive, because Arlen's just going to get toasted next turn anyway. Do we trade here? We're kind of stalling. I think we are trading here. As sucky as that sounds, like we got to stall long enough to let Ranger Class pop off. That's our only way back in this game. Down to 14. And we can't really get in range where they can just meat hook massacre and machine gun us to death. Creature on top. I like it. That's what we're here for. Land on top. Not what we're here for. I think we'll just play out Arlen because we have to. Trample Indestructible in haste. Two mana isn't useful. I guess we're doing this. Let's see if they uh, have something for her. Okay, that's interesting. Do they have removal? They have a Wandering Emperor. Damn. Okay. It's not game, because again, we can still pop off with Ranger class, but if we don't, it's, it's still game. Yep, minus two. That's tough. Very tough. Double Planeswalker. Almost impossible for us to get through. 
Give one of these first strikes, sure. Get him for six damage. Three here, three from the menace. If they attack with a 2-2, two -two, that'll be interesting. That'll... What would that imply? Maybe a Meat Hook Massacre? I don't think they would Meat Hook Massacre this board. Why would they not attack at all? Something seems fishy here. They want to defend their Planeswalkers. Maybe they think if they just hold on long enough, there's no way they can lose. They take a draw and just hang out. That's pretty ominous. Reckoner Bankbuster. Alright, they've got some draw power now. No creature on top. It hurts. Um, so we can give a lot of trample to this, actually. 5-3. Not enough to get through to anyone, though. I don't think it's worth it. If it's holding them back at all. No attacks. Very sad. End here. Yeah, every, every turn they get farther away from us. We need an amazing string of creatures off the top, but... Well, that's pretty much game. Um... I mean, I'll give it one more turn. Actually, we know it's on top, though. Nah, good game. You got me. That's fine. Good game. Alright, great curve here. Green. Pack leader. Mono white aggro. Do we want to trade off? Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't think they will trade. Oh, they keep their initiate around. They want to grow it. Naturalist. Now, if we draw a land, we can play Stormseeker before combat. Otherwise, uh, we're attacking first. They're eyeing the initiate. A lot of hovering going on here. Red. Naya humans. Thalia. Very annoying. We hit land, though. We can't attack through with the Stormseeker. I think that's what we're doing right now. Yeah, just going like that right now. Point it down to 15. Attack all by the opponent. Gutsy. Um... Yeah, I think no blocks here for sure. Interesting. What do they have? They do nothing. So they must have removal, right? Why else would they do that? We could, um... No, I think we're just playing this next Stormseeker while we're on night side. Gotta pump out massive amounts of damage here. Alright, you're going here. And they want to kill you the least, I think. So we'll put you here. Uh, okay. Inc incredible. <laughs> I just wheezed there. What was the last time I've ever wheezed before? <laughs> what was that? Why did they attack? I don't know what just happened there. Oh, God. <laughs> I just wheezed. I don't... <laughs> that was nuts. All right. <clears throat> A little awkward, but I think it's okay. Not worth mulliganing this, but uh, not ideal. Oysters. Oysters. Where does that come from? Maybe it's always sunny. Not sure. Oysters. I don't know. Where does that come from? Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm trying to say. More green is fine. Alright. Let's play it all. <clears throat> Selesnia. We have a pretty aggressive start against them, which is good. Weaver of Harmony. At least we can um, trade with that. That's not a terrible draw, I suppose. Stormseeker. A lot of damage. Let's see if we can roast them before they can uh, assemble their enchantment defenses. No trades. Down to nine. Okay. Other enchantment creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Green tap. Copy target, target artifacted or triggered ability you control. Circle of confinement. All right. Wow. Activated or triggered ability you control. Interesting. That was huge. Have never seen this card in action before. Opponent goes down to two. That was kind of sick, honestly. 
I don't know if I would have known this was a activated or triggered ability. Wow, they do it again. Look at this guy go. That's crazy. I have not seen this card in action. That's nuts. All right, well, they have to jump block here. Uh, yeah, I guess. Wow, that was crazy. That was sick. Um, wow, I'll definitely try that out next time I play Selesny Enchantments. I've never seen that before. That was cool. If you liked that video, click on one of these two next. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time.